just for the fun of it, let's see all three balls go down at once. One of them got kicked out really early. It's pretty cool. For now, they're just landing on the the um, cage at the bottom. So the track will probably come out about right there, just like that one comes out. And obviously, when it's more finished, I'm not really doing official supports for the elements right now. Like I just have this one here which really doesn't do all that much. So when I make other elements, I'll be able to just attach or make the supports then, because I would have to tear them out anyhow if I added an element, say, right around this area, which is highly likely. And they got stuck from the tubing. Oh well. Alright, so this track is almost finished. I just wanted to um, show you a bit of progress. So I can show you the tubing before the guardrail goes on. So the guardrail will be covering it up basically. So what I've decided to do is actually give it an extra strand of tubing on the outside here. Just in case the one in the middle breaks or something. Because I just don't trust this tubing too much. What I've also done is added a rail inside there and it goes around until the top or so and that one's just so um well just to act as a protection so the ball can't fly out just in case something happens to the main strand which is right here this is how I'm fixing it snapping off of that connector as I have one right there which is kind of hard to get to and that should prevent it from doing that. I also have more flexi rods around there. I've also been supporting stuff such as this one right here is really nice, the Y connector right there it keeps the whole thing anchored into the tower. So next I'll have to make the track that leads out of this and of course whatever I have up there which I still haven't decided yet path is finished and this is the third path. Up at the top we have a zigzag and that leads into the vortex which has all the guardrails finished and there's the bottom and then there's a track that leads out at the bottom and it ends up over there. There's lots of stuff on the machine right now. Um, we have some arms. That's another function of this track right now is it um, stores all these elements that I've built but anyway, let's test it out. I guess I don't really need to do it from there, so I'll just do it from here. That's my phone that I just landed on. So that goes out right at the beginning. I'll give it a view of it from this side. Yeah, and it goes right there. And there's just enough room for it to make it with this element in the way. So let's see if I can get a shot of it from this side. go from the very top. It's kind of hard to see from over here. Yeah, that's it. So here's some views of it. I'm still having that tubing right there come off of the connector. And that's not good because the ball hits that little tab on the way down. So I'll have to somehow think some other way to do that. I think the reason it's coming off so much is because this one right here, the next place that it attaches to is um, a lot farther away. 
like it's a lot wider right there than right here so it keeps on wanting to come off so I'll have to fix that but after that the path will be officially finished this is how I'm fixing that tubing problem so I just changed the orange tab connector into a yellow and that just removes the tab obviously and now that little piece right in there the little gold splicer on the white rod just kinda holds it in you can tell it's a little bit wider but I think it will work fine the ball doesn't hit anything on the way down and it is well supported so that's good it just kind of comes out underneath right there so I like that fix and the other thing I have to show you is I got another path done so this is path number four so this one starts off with a um, half pipe arm then it goes to a scissor arm one thing you might notice about this ball machine is that well all the elements are basically from Citadel and that's pretty much because I don't have the time to um, come up with new ones because, um, yeah, so this one's a little bit different though. It uses white rods and the end is a lot better. That's how the end is right now. And it has a little funnel underneath to catch the ball so that it can't fly out. So that should be good. And that's the track at the bottom. And then with the half pipe arm, here's the track leading up to it. And let me get on the other side here. And there's the half pipe arm. The only modification this one has is it has all those yellow connectors right there and it has this Y connector on the back that prevents the ball from falling out. And the track that comes in is basically the same. So let's test it out. Get on this side. And I've got to show this, but this is the track leading into it in the first place. Just leads right in there. Usually this goes up about nine times. And there it goes. So that's nice. So I guess that's all I really have to say about that path. I also changed the counterweight to make it smaller. It uses up a lot less space, which is nice, even though it is wider. And then this part right here is just to make it more sturdy. So on to the next path.